Hallo miteinander, I'm Geshady6, and this is Blackthorn. We have lost our skin condition from last time, and we have also regained our sense of fashion. Because who wears red pants? Nobody should. Anyway, about this upcoming level, I'm kind of mixed about it. It has some really good ideas, but also some fatal flaws in it. Now, let's check what is down here. Whoops, well, no way we could have known about that now, could we? At least it gives us a chance to see the game over screen. The Sega 32X version of Blackthorn is the only one besides the original Windows version that is uncensored. Yes, we have blood and everything. Not even the Macintosh that came after this one had it. Now, let's do a little teleport. And here we are, back to where we were. Now let us go down the right right side instead of the wrong left side. We get a health potion and another bridge key down here. That one will help us proceed later in the level. But let's go back to the subject of censorship. I'm not really surprised that this version is a little bit more mature. Sega was always about doing what Nintendo don't. Um, they had a much more liberal licensing policy than Nintendo had, so I think it was in their best interest that this game stayed a little bit more graphic. Now down here is another hover bomb. Um, not something that is very rare in this game. Well, this is a very special one. As soon as this Androthy gives you the bomb, backtrack immediately. If you don't do it now, you will have to backtrack even further later. The level is a little bit complex like that. Anyway, what you have to do with this bomb is you have to take it up here and to the room on the right. That is a generator room, a generator that you have to blow up. Now you can go all the way to the end of the level, to the very last room even. But if you don't destroy this generator and get another item besides that, you simply won't be able to reach the elevator at the end. You should use the wasp for this task, because apart from this, it doesn't have a good use in the rest of the level. But this level, it's not primarily about backtracking. It is about something else. You know, you don't get quite as many bombs as you might want to. And there are a lot of war orcs about. Now the war orcs, I have called them the most forgettable enemy of Blackthorn in the old LP. I have called them mobile doors that you blow up. Now, Paradox Development has found a way to make them matter, yes, and that is by not letting you actually kill them. It is pretty difficult at times to get past the war if you can't just blow them up. This one, however, you can blow up, because you use a bomb and you get one for killing him. But as I was saying, um, I have to congratulate um, Paradox Development for using the war orcs in such a quantity that you can't just kill them that you have to conserve your ammo. However, I still feel very mixed about this level, because of something that comes out of this idea. We will talk about it a bit later. For now, let's deal with this war orc, but without the use of force. This is the first one that we're just going to get past. It's not easy because of Blackthorn's running controls. It's difficult to stop right under the ladder, and we almost got whipped off there. It would have been painful. To the left of this room is another war orc, but it's going to be easier to, to deal with this one, because all we have to do is get an item and leave the room. The bigger problem is that we have to take a running jump here. It's not a particularly hard one because you don't have to hit the edge, but it's easy to undershoot and if you do, it's going to be lethal. Now as you might be able to tell, there would have been a laser barrier up here to block us. But we've already destroyed the generator, so we can go into this little room. Now here's where we find the iron key, um, and also a spider mine. It's really not hard to get this iron key, as long as you're careful. I have blown up this spider mine in the past uh, because of sheer hubris and impatience, so really just take your time and nothing should happen to you. Now I want to remind you again that if you miss this iron key, you're going to have to backtrack a lot because you can proceed very far without it. This chasm gives me some bad flashbacks to the first one of this level. But it's not going to kill us luckily, um, no matter what side we pick. Seriously, that was mean. 
If you look at this level um, by the sheer number of rooms, it's actually really short, but it can take a while if you don't know where you're going. Of course, I won't make such major mistakes that cost us a lot of time. I will only make minor ones that result in both of Blackthorn's legs being blown off. Yeah. Now, this area, I kind of see it as somewhat of a storage area. I think there are three bombs around here. This war orc, I think you could get past him without killing him, but um, we have already left two of them alive. I don't think you really need to spare more than that. Now, I think it's time I reveal what I really don't like about this level. Um, it is very easy to make it unwinnable in your early attempts if you just don't know that you have to conserve your bombs. You could say it's a beginner's trap and I think everyone agrees that those aren't really good game design. The original Blackthorn didn't really have to resort to that, it always gave you the tools that you needed. Um, but this level just doesn't. I think it's a little bit like the old Resident Evil games. Uh, if you go into those without any knowledge, um, you're just going to assume that they're action games and you gonna kill everything that's inside and only after a while will you notice that you don't have enough ammo now. And then hunters will claw off your face and you will cry. Luckily Blackthorn doesn't have to contend with the horrors of zombies, hunters or 90s voice acting, but he will still have to restart the level if he runs out of hover bombs. Okay, now that we have my complaining out of the way, uh, we have just picked up a firebomb. Now we could use that to kill an enemy, blow up a wall, but we're gonna use it um, for what firebombs have been made, to kill Eakers. Just one room under this one, uh, we find the Eakers that uh, this one was meant for. And I have to wonder, Eakers might be the most forgettable enemy now that the War Orcs have been a little bit more established, because you can choose to kill them, but you can also just eat the hit. I mean, they only do one damage if you run into them, and they're stationary on top of that, so... Really not all that impressive. Come to think of it, they would really pose a problem if you just made them instant death. This Ice Beast has a Levitator. Uh, we haven't been to the room yet uh, where you use that one, but we're going to shortly. By the way, I kind of admire the geography of the snowy mountain area. Whenever the path branches, um, the backgrounds usually show a vast landscape, but when you go through passages, it usually looks like an icy cave. I think that's a lot of attention to detail. You could say that I think it's pretty cool. Wap, wap, wah. Yeah, you didn't think I would go through this without at least one bad ice pun. I think that would make me a let's playing robot. Okay, we're coming up on the final stretch here. I remember that this part made me a little bit frustrated in my very first serious attempt. You see, I came here without the iron key in hand. I only had one more bomb and I used it to kill this war orc in this door. Seems like a plausible thing to do. What did he give me? A health potion. That is the ultimate provocation, isn't it? Yeah, I had to restart then. So, that's it for this time, I guess. Before I say goodbye, I want to show you one more thing. A screenshot from the Blizzard 2010 April Fool's joke. It was a fake news post about Blackthorn 2 Thorn Harder. Now that article was already very fishy sounding, but when you saw this screenshot you knew what they were saying, that Blackthorn 2 would just be jumping the shark. With that, I'm Geshady6, this was Blackthorn, and next time, the very last video that I will ever make. About Blackthorn. Bis bald!